Today we are talking about a software that can revolutionize vector art and design. This is Graphite. On a first look, it might look like an ordinary piece of software, but it got a lot more than that to it. First of all, it's completely free and open source, making it one of if not the best free and open source vector art software. It got any feature that you could ever need to create your custom awesome vector art. But here's the quote-unquote revolutionary part when it comes to Graphite. Graphite works on a node-based system. Similar to software like Substance Designer and Material Maker, Graphite lets you create 2D vector artwork using a node-based system. The vector art tools and the node-based system both work together and completely separately. That means if you choose to not use the node-based system ever, you won't need to do that. The vector art tools are enough for you to create your awesome artwork just in the editor and never touch the node. But if you want to create something really really cool with the node based system, then you gotta use the nodes because it opens a whole new possibility. To give you an idea of what kind of nodes Graphite offers, here's a couple of examples. These nodes are mostly just your everyday tools that you use in other software, things like filling up up color, things like creating a path and po creating points on a path, placing objects on points, randomly distributing stuff, creating different kind of shapes and creating colors. And it gets way more complex and way more advanced than that for advanced users. But to give you an easy idea, it is every tool that ha the software has in a node based system. That means you can choose between creating it using the old fashioned way of clicking buttons or just combining together nodes to completely customize it. Here are a few of my opinions and a list of things and advantages I think Graphite has over other software. First of all is ease of use and ease of starting out. When I booted up Graphite, one thing I was really afraid of was the fear of now I have to learn another software. I've tried Inkscape in past and it was exhausting. Finding what tool does what or what action I wouldn't perform is hard. The node based system gives you a concrete idea. It's kind of like writing code but way more simple. If I just want to create a shape and want to fill in a color, I can just search for intuitively fill and fill in a color. If I want to rotate it, just rotate it using the transform node and now I can even animate and other kind of stuff. Graphite is extremely easy to get started. Due to the node based system it just becomes extremely intuitive. Unlike other software I was able to do really good stuff in a really short of amount of time. It also convinced me to use Graphite as my permanent vector art software which I will be doing in the future. Not every one of us has the handmade talent of being able to draw everything we want or being able to place objects exactly where we want it to be. Many of us are programmers and uh, haven't touched our vector arts or artwork software in years. So using your skills of programming and mathematics in our art software just becomes a really cool stuff. You can use math functions, you can use uh, algorithms to place your objects you can use colors using mathematically there's a lot of interaction between coding and artwork in this software graphite truly to me is a software worth collaborating let me give you an example for example you are working with an artist the artist lets you create the shapes. He can do the shapes of your character, he can make them move, everything like that. But then he sends you a graphite file. You have all the access to the nodes. Now you can change everything from the color to the thickness of line and uh, making one end of a line thicker and all kind of that good stuff using just simple slider that the artists have provided you. This makes Graphite a powerful collaboration tool between programmers and uh, artists when it comes to creating things like games or other kind of artwork projects. 
it is definitely a really good communication between two different kind of genres if you call programming and other different genres optimization since graphite using or uh, uses a node based system as i said your artwork becomes highly customizable when you are done with creating your artwork you can tweak it around really precisely using the nodes you can do that things like uh, changing transforms precisely based on numbers on other software but with graphite's math system it takes it to a whole another level you can things take uh, for example you can take a spline a simple line that you have drawn then you can extract the points on the line you can take another object and uh, put, put it on the points of the spline now you are able to precisely put your points or your objects on uh, another object without using any mouse and precision placing this makes your artwork really customizable and really precise let's get over with the introductions opening up graphite graphite is a web-based editor you can find the url to use it in the description and you can totally run it in your browser without having to download it to me it's really easy to access it through the web and it's really amazing it runs really fast and smooth there is a desktop offline version coming really soon but for now you can use it in the editor of the web you can see i'm in a christmas tree demo and this is how it works on the side you have your normal tools like paint bucket magnification cropping pen tool circles everything tech stamping everything that uh, normal vector software have up here you have properties and other kind of function and selecting a tool appears to give you the settings according to the tools up here the cool thing stuff is of course the note that you can open up by clicking this button of notecraft you can see that you can see your artwork from behind and a bit of a transparency which can decrease using this slider how much of the artwork you want to view 80 percent looks really good all of these nodes represent all of your different objects and properties that were given the objects for example this is the sprite for the bulb then it is given a fill of uh, this gray and using this property system you, we are giving them different colors over here we assign them different colors based on uh, you know this random gradient then we are scattering them over on the spline using this node this is the spline of the wire we are using and then we're taking them into the transform which is the position and uh, we are scattering sample the points then we are copying instance to the points and all kind of good stuff i know this might sound a bit daunting but I'm pretty sure in a little over an hour you can completely master most of the node an artist would need then you can go with the advanced stuff if you're willing to do that but if you are just want to use this software as a simple 2d artwork creation software it is amazing you got every tool you need and it's just really cool and really simple really powerful I definitely recommend you checking out graphite and uh, as for some of the news, Graphite is actually trending on GitHub as the number one software. As you can see by a tweet, they tell they are telling that they have surpassed over 15,000 stars on GitHub, and it's now the number one GitHub repository, which in turn tells us that uh, this thing has promise. If you want to check out graphite i'll leave the link to the official website github repository and the editor in the description and for now leave me here and i'll see you in the next one